right? So, so we can we can see that uh, through a simple example. So let's actually make another function, ddt large, okay, and we'll set the ddt large uh, to something actually large. How large of a system do you want? A million by a million. Okay, that's fine. So I have a U, and uh, uh, I want to construct a matrix that is a million by a million. So uh, to construct a million by a million matrix, I actually need to make a sparse matrix, right? Yeah, otherwise, say, you have memory, right? otherwise I'll run out of memory, right? And I have to restart my computer. So, uh, so SPI is the sparse version of uh, uh, of identity. So I make it. Uh, uh, I'll just set n equal to a million. Okay, I have. A, um, let's actually just. A, um, let's see what kind of a system do we want. So let's make a to be a SPI. Um, okay, and. Uh, so let's actually just to, to make it a minus of identity and due dt equal to a times u. Okay, so that's a very simple system to solve. I'm just uh, solving an a million copy of due dt equal to minus u, right? Now let's give uh, MATLAB uh, uh, the job of solving this equation. So OD. So let's first uh, try OD45. So here I would have to give an initial condition of once a million one. All right. So now it's DDT large. Uh, I'm not sure about plotting, so maybe I shouldn't plot it. Uh, MATLAB, uh, I don't think it'll be very good at plotting a million lines. So so let's do that and uh, let's time it. We have the tick and the talk. Okay. requested uh, array exceeds maximum array size performance um, okay uh, so right, because you gave uh, it one to million. yes because uh, even five. though I'm not constructing a million by million matrix MATLAB is trying to construct uh, that internally wait, okay wait, the initial condition though yeah you, you set it up so that the Oh wait. No, initial condition is fine. It's a, it's a million by one matrix. That yeah, is still fine. fine. The the thing is MATLAB. Okay. So so let me, I was trying to say that if you do OD45, it'll be fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Actually try to create it. Yeah, OD45 because it's an explicit solver. It actually does that in 5.3 seconds. And if you use an implicit solver, it never even starts because uh, it needs a uh, uh, like seven terabytes of memory. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so so that's a that's a problem about uh, MATLAB's implicit method. I mean, if you if you make it uh, not that large, I mean, if you make it uh, uh, let's say ten thousand, I think it'll still work. So, so right, uh, ten thousand. So OD45 is really fast. OD23S. That's not like that. It, it'll take some time, right? Because it's a, it's going to be constructing its 10,000 by 10,000 matrix internally and solving linear systems of a, a 10,000 by 10,000. Uh, uh, I'm not sure it'll finish in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, oops. <laughs> uh, it's a little spinny wheel watching us. Yeah. Uh, right, I think that's that. a mistake. Uh, anyway, so so that wouldn't work. Now there is actually a way to get away from that. Okay, I'm glad it. Uh, you can actually get away from that by specifying your own Jacobi. So if you actually give a subroutine to compute this DFDU for MATLAB, okay, MATLAB can actually solve your system with no problem. So, for example, let's make another function, say dfdu large. That is specifically for computing dfdu, and that's what we call the Jacobian of the system.
And what is df du in this case? Uh, it's, is it the same as a? Yeah, it's the same as a, right? Because this is my f. This is my u. Df du is just the matrix a, right? Okay, so if I do that, uh, I would just say df du is equal to uh, here. I don't even need the u. Okay. Uh, wait, what is my n? My n is ten thousand. All right. So now let's. I have to say option is equal to od set. I think I Jacobin is the name of df du to be df du large. Okay. Then I do od twenty three with this option. Now I can solve that pretty efficiently. All right. It's still slower than OD45 because I have a very non-stiff system. All right. But at least it's going to be orders of magnitude faster than if I don't give the Jacobi. All right. So so that's uh, that's basically um, what you gain by solving an implicit system and what you lose if you have MATLAB uh, computing the Jacobi numerically and uh, what you can make up for that by providing your own Jacobian evaluation function. All right, does that make sense? So this is a a uh, uh, like how, uh, what do you gain by using implicit method and what to be careful about. Okay.